In our compilation of potential volcanic events in 2024, we feature various scenarios. These include an active volcano in Iceland on the verge of a massive eruption, a caldera in Naples, Italy, posing a danger to the lives of 3.1 million people. Also, attention is drawn to a volcano in southern Peru with the potential to disrupt the global copper industry. Additionally, we highlight one of Indonesia's most active volcanic sites, a popular destination for hiking enthusiasts. These are the eight volcanoes that are likely to erupt in 2024. Number 8. Campi Flegrai Naples stands as the third largest city in Italy, housing approximately 3.1 million inhabitants and harboring a potentially imminent supervolcano. There is a concern that it might erupt, perhaps even in 2024. The Flegrian Fields, locally referred to as Campi Flegrai, comprise an eight-mile-wide caldera that stretches across parts of Naples and extends south beneath the Gulf of Pozzuoli. This caldera originated after two significant eruptions, the Campanian and Imbrite eruption that occurred approximately 36,000 years ago, and the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption which took place about 15,000 years ago. The most recent documented eruption at Campi Flegrai transpired in 1538, while there has been some seismic activity since the Roman era, it has not raised significant concerns until the present time. In 2023 alone, approximately 1,000 minor earthquakes have been recorded in the vicinity of Campi Flegrai. This heightened seismic activity has sparked fears that the volcano could erupt for the first time in nearly 500 years. Similar seismic activity was observed at Campi Flegrai in the 1980s, causing the port town of Pozzuoli to rise by 6.5 feet and resulting in some structural damage. While experts argue that the lack of severe consequences during the 1980s suggests a low current risk, the potential impact of a Campi Flegrai eruption would be catastrophic. The release of ash and volcanic gases into the atmosphere would result in air pollution, while earthquakes triggered by the event could inflict substantial harm to buildings and infrastructure. Additionally, the presence of sulfur dioxide in the air could contribute to the formation of acid rain. While it is hopeful that the assessments of experts are accurate and there is no imminent threat at Campi Flegrai, only time will reveal the true nature of the situation. Number 7. Onik Krakatao Onik Krakatao stands as one of the most renowned volcanoes globally, yet its name is often mispronounced. Many mistakenly refer to it as Krakatoa, when its official name is Krakatao. Adding to the irony is the fact that Krakatoa, in its original form, scarcely exists anymore. A colossal eruption in 1883 obliterated approximately two-thirds of Krakatoa Island, situated in the Sunda Strait off the west coast of Indonesia. Approximately 50 years after the catastrophic 1883 eruption, the cone known as Anak Krakatao, emerged within the caldera formed by that event. Since then, it has been a site of recurrent eruptions. The latest eruptive phase began in May 2021. Then in June 2023, Anak Krakatao erupted twice within a one-hour span, propelling volcanic ash nearly 10,000 feet into the atmosphere. Fast forward to November 2023 when geologists from the Indonesian Center for Volcanology observed more intense explosions than had been witnessed before. The concern now is that another substantial eruption at Krakatao could mirror the catastrophic 1883 event, potentially causing powerful earthquakes and unleashing massive tsunamis toward the Indonesian coast. But it is hoped that with modern technology and advanced planning, a major humanitarian disaster can be averted. Number 6. Shishaldan There are 57 volcanoes in the Aleutian Arc, collectively constituting the northernmost segment of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Mount Shishaldan, a 9,300-foot snow-capped mountain, stands as one of the most active volcanoes within the Aleutian Arc and it has been under close monitoring by the Alaska Volcano Observatory. Monitoring of Shishaldan's activity dates back to the 18th century, revealing a pattern characterized by mostly Strombolian ash eruptions and occasional lava flows. Generally, this type of activity hasn't raised significant concerns. 
However, in the summer of 2023, Shisheldon entered a new phase of eruptive activity. The volcano released an ash plume that extended between 6 and 7.5 miles into the air. The last time Shisheldon exhibited such force was in 1999 when it ejected an ash plume reaching approximately 8.5 miles high. Seismic and eruptive events persisted throughout that summer and extended into December. Experts predict that the eruptive period observed in 2023 is likely to follow a similar pattern, extending well into 2024. Fortunately, Shisheldon's remote location in the middle of nowhere within the vast Arctic landscape makes direct observation challenging. While this isolation ensures that humans are not in immediate danger if an eruption occurs, those within a 10-mile radius could be affected. Number 5. Ubinas Situated in a remote region of southern Peru is Mount Ubinas, an 18,600-feet stratovolcano that has garnered heightened attention. Mount Ubinas stands as Peru's most active volcano. The most formidable eruption recorded at Mount Ubinas transpired around a thousand years ago in 1082 AD. This event was a strong explosion, scoring a maximum of 5 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. This places it on par with the eruption at Mount Vesuvius that famously devastated Pompeii in 79 AD. In July 2023, Mount Ubinas escalated its activity by expelling gas and ash, reaching heights exceeding 18,000 feet into the air. The resulting ash cloud extended to town several miles away, posing a substantial risk to the local population. The severity of the situation prompted Peru to declare a 60-day state of emergency. Although there was no mandatory evacuation, Residents were encouraged to seek refuge in a specialized bunker constructed by the Peruvian government in 2019. Now, concerns have arisen about the potential impact of a catastrophic eruption at Ubinas on the global copper industry. Peru holds the distinction of being the world's second largest copper producer, trailing only Chile. However, the copper mines in both countries are intertwined with volcanic regions. These volcanoes, part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, are prone to frequent earthquakes and volcanic activities, raising apprehensions about the potential consequences for the copper industry. Mount Abinas has exhibited heightened activity since the beginning of the 21st century. From 2006 onward, there have been five confirmed eruptive periods, each enduring for several years. This sustained pattern raises valid concerns, leading experts to anticipate that the volcano will likely continue its eruptive activity in 2024 and beyond. Number 4. Grindavik Iceland In mid-November of 2023, Iceland declared a full-on state of emergency after a nine-mile river of magma running beneath the Reykjanes Peninsula was discovered. According to the experts, the Magma River went from being 4,900 feet underground to about 2,600 feet in a matter of hours. There was a fear that the Magma Tunnel could reach the fishing town of Grindavik. Furthermore, over 20,000 tremors had been recorded in the area since late October. Earthquakes had already taken their toll on the area, roads split in two and you could see steam and smoke pouring from the ground. The once thriving fishing town looked more like a ghost town after an evacuation order. Unfortunately, those forced to evacuate don't have a clear timeline for returning home as the volcano finally erupted on the 15th of January, 2024, sending molten lava into the town of Grindavik and setting houses ablaze. The Icelandic Meteorological Office have said that new cracks could still open without warning adding that magma continued to flow underground and it was too early to declare the eruption over. It is the second time the volcano located southwest of the capital Reykjavik has erupted in less than a month. This is a very hazardous area and it has a potential to be repeating events throughout 2024 and even after. Number 3. Mount Merapi Indonesia ranks among the most eruption-prone regions on Earth harboring over 120 active volcanoes. Mount Merapi in West Sumatra stands at approximately 9,500 feet and overlooks several small cities and towns. 
It's worth noting that Mount Merapi in West Sumatra is distinct from another highly active volcano named Mount Merapi in Java, Indonesia. The name Fire Mountain for Mount Merapi is well earned, considering its regular eruptions over the past 300 years. Despite the inherent dangers, people are drawn to hiking on this active volcano. On Saturday, December 2nd, 2023, a group of 75 hikers ventured up the mountain. Unfortunately, by the time it erupted on Sunday, only 49 had been successfully evacuated. Ongoing volcanic activity impeded rescue efforts until Monday by which time, significant damage had already occurred. Exactly a month later, in January 2024, Mount Merapi erupted again, urging the evacuation of people within 2.8 miles of the center of the eruption. The fact that this volcano erupted for the second time within a month indicates a high possibility for the volcano to erupt again in 2024, and not just once, but at least a few more times. Number 2. Mount Edgecombe Kruzoff Island, an uninhabited portion of the Alexander Archipelago in southeastern Alaska, features the region's sole volcano, Mount Edgecombe. Standing at 3,100 feet, Mount Edgecombe is a stratovolcano and a part of the Edgecombe Volcanic Field, encompassing approximately 100 square miles of Kruzoff Island. The last recorded eruption of Mount Edgecombe occurred in 280 BC. Contrary to the recorded historical data, indigenous oral traditions suggest an eruption on Mount Edgecombe between 800 and 900 years ago. Concerns about a potential future eruption have been heightened, with many believing that Mount Edgecombe is overdue for activity. Between late 2022 and early 2023, the Alaska Volcano Observatory observed magma movement beneath the volcano, with satellite imagery indicating that the magma had ascended from 12 miles underground to 6 miles underground. This activity triggered several earthquakes and led to notable deformation around the surface, adding to the concerns about the volcano's potential for eruption in the near future. In early 2023, hikers reported witnessing gas bubbling from a lake near the mountain, and satellite imagery revealed ground bulging near the volcano. Though such activities are not unusual in volcanic regions, it is noteworthy due to the reclassification of Mount Edgecombe's status from dormant to active. The Alaska Volcano Observatory is closely monitoring the situation. In the event of an eruption, the town of Sitka, approximately 14 miles away, could be affected. Number 1. Long Valley Caldera The Long Valley Caldera, situated in central California, ranks among the largest calderas on Earth, measuring approximately 20 miles in length, 11 miles in width, and roughly 3,000 feet in depth. This massive depression is located about 40 miles outside of Yosemite Valley, 250 miles north of downtown Los Angeles, and 200 miles east of San Francisco, placing a significant population within range of potential catastrophic events. The Long Valley Caldera originated approximately 760,000 years ago after a super eruption expelled an immense 140 cubic miles of magma into the atmosphere. Following the super eruption, the Long Valley area remained relatively dormant until May of 1980. During this period, scientists began to observe increased seismic activity, marked by several magnitude 6 tremors. Since then, Long Valley has been under close monitoring by scientists in the United States. The ongoing seismic activity is a cause for concern, and the situation is being closely watched. While there is reason for heightened attention, scientists emphasize that there is currently no immediate cause for alarm or panic. The monitoring efforts aim to understand the behavior of the caldera and provide timely information in the event of any significant changes or potential hazards. According to your knowledge, are there any other volcanoes that are showing signs of an eruption in 2024? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.